So CS2, Counter Strike 2 is finally here after all the rumors and after all the tweets and after all the logo changing and all of that. So this is the official website of Counter Strike 2. If you haven't really checked it out, I recommend checking this out. You can find the links to this in the Steam. Um, as you can see, CS2 or Counter Strike 2 will be a update to CS2. It will not be a standalone game. It will basically be an update. So, for those of you who already have CS:GO, you can expect this update. And yeah, so moving on. So, what's the first thing? So what is the major change from Counter Strike to Counter Strike 2? So apparently, the three major changes that Valve have announced is better maps, better smokes, and better servers. Right. So this is the smokes video. So basically, there's three gifs which basically define. How the smokes are gonna look like so just to summarize it uh, the smokes are basically gonna be dynamic it's gonna react to the environment it's gonna react to obstacles it's gonna react to gunshots it's gonna react to grenades it's gonna react to anything with the environment right so it's a dynamic smoke I think it's a crazy feature to add and also reacts to lighting for example you shoot through it it kind of reacts to that as well and then the next update is the tick rate. So apparently we're moving away from 64 tick to 128 tick. And that's a really good thing because everyone had an issue with the 64 tick. And I guess this update was coming either ways. So the next update is the world. Um, I'd recommend checking out this trailer because there's a lot more details. Uh, because the world looks a lot better compared to CSGO like the difference is day and night because the lighting is much better details are much better and here's a preview of what it looks like so this is CS2 and this is CSGO CS2 CSGO um, as you can see the details are much better in the CS2 engine CS2 or CS Source 2 engine and the lighting is a lot better so it's easier to spot enemies. I remember playing overpass and I couldn't see anything there because of the dull lighting here. Yeah. I'm sure you can see it for yourself, right? So that's a major update. And it's not only overpass. I think the overall map looks a lot better. For example, bombsite A, it looks a lot more dynamic, a lot more rich. And even the park. So the textures look really neat and it's totally a worthy upgrade. This is source 2 on Nuke. And this is CSGO. So the difference is again day and night. Look at the details. For example, the A1 and the Reds. So this, these are just a few screenshots. You can just open this website and check them out, and you'll be able to see the difference, right? So it, it's pretty neat. It looks pretty sick as well. So and Dust2 actually looks like Dust2 on Source2, unlike CSGO where it looked like a different map altogether. And um, even long. For example, the lighting is a lot better and the dust actually has the original color from the original source. It's a good thing. There's a few tools that they've announced for the community map makers where you can build maps using source 2. So that's another update. And yeah, here's a small gif on what your skins might look like in source 2. Looks a lot more detailed than CSGO. I think this is going to be a win for everybody because they get to keep their skins. So good news. And yeah, the VFX looks insane. It looks clean. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been overdone. It looks kind of clean and I think this has taken some time, but it really is worth the update. The environmental effects look really convincing though. And the UI enhancements, can't really say now. Probably once we get a beta of it is when we'd be the judge of it. Uh, the file looks a little fake though. I think it'll get better with time and so there's apparently better audio I'm guessing they have full support for 7.1 headsets so that could, that's a good thing and there's more to come so the there's more to come section is nothing but they've announced the counter strike to limited test I actually looked it up on how exactly you can gain access so it says player selected based on number of factors deeming important by counter strike to develop team so so we can't really sign up for it as of now so you'll just have to wait uh for 
a confirmation from Val whether you've been selected for the Counter Strike Pro Limited test. So I did check mine, so there was no access. So you probably have to wait like me. Um, apparently, you, uh, it's gonna come up on your main menu, and it says if you receive an invitation, select enroll and begin your download. So it will come up on the main menu of CS:GO, not through the beta. Uh, that is through this the Steam beta. So that's about it. Let's hope for the best.